Hi, this is Padar Bin and today I would like to discuss with you about a simple motivational factor which is all about competitive English. Many students come to me and many students ask me, sir, how we can improve in competitive English? I tell them only one thing, that's your first interest. Yes, if you don't have interest, you're not going to get success here. Sometimes, somewhere, we feel comfortable with spoken English. We can speak in our day-to-day -day life. We can improve communication. But when it comes to your competitive English and you are preparing for entrance test, you have to open your grammar book. You have to open all the chapters and you have to get one by one and you have to practice analysis, reasoning of a language. Yes, many words with synonym, antonyms, one word substitutes and also uh, your homograms, pair of words and many phrases, idioms, roots, suffix, prefix, so many things, right? And really, when we face the questions papers, sometimes we become blacked out and we don't understand exactly how to solve vocabulary. When we come across with sentence arrangements, reading comprehension, analogy, and when we come across with parasimple sentences, spelling pitfalls, also we face a lot of troubles if we are not well prepared. And we need to study grammar thoroughly so that we can also solve error correction or error identification, right? Big challenge. I do understand it's a big challenge, but what to do? We need to solve it out. Anyway, we need to solve it out. But what are you doing? Are you really reading in a conventional way, mainstreaming approach? Or do you have any alternative approach? I would like to tell you something which is alternative approach. Nothing to be pissed off, stressed. Yes, there are the solutions. Be cool, calm. You can really achieve your goal in competitive English. In competitive English, the first part that you need your interest. Second part is your routine. If you want to enjoy your grammar, study grammar systematically so that you can really understand it better. So what's the point of learning grammar? Every day, one word, one pronunciation. Number one, keep your words or write your words. Number two, every day, one rule. Number three, Collect idea which are very common in competitive entrance and go by your parts of speech. One day or two days spend on noun, other days spend on pronoun, then adjective, then adverb, then article, main verb, then proposition, conjunction and interjection. And for vocabulary, read words, collect from newspaper, magazines and from different resources and prepare yourself and there are so many books that are available in market you can buy it also but remember one thing create interest take a target that you can really achieve your goal and after doing these all hard works if you don't have you need a mentor you need a teacher who can teach you who can guide you your mentor may be your best friend mentor may be your parents Mentor may be your teacher or faculty of any institute. You need to take their guidance. If not, then follow books. If not, then follow technology. Yes. If not, watch my video. I'm coming with a lot of tips and ideas on competitive entrance in next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.